Hello, in this short clip, I am going to just take you through some points that pathologists will look at uh, when we are handling cases of thyroid carcinoma. So actually, the pathologist's focus is exactly the same as the entire multidisciplinary managing team's focus. And the first step, of course, is in making the diagnosis. So much of the time, uh, thyroid cancer is diagnosed using a very simple method of fine needle aspiration cytology. And here is an example when we examine uh, the aspirated material from a thyroid nodule. Uh, we can see that the nuclei here are quite oval to irregular. There is very powdery, fine chromatin. Uh, there are very well-formed nuclear grooves, and we can also see occasional nuclear pseudo-inclusions. So this is a very classical, clear-cut case of papillary thyroid carcinoma, and we can make this diagnosis with a high degree of accuracy on cytology. And of course, the next step is then to evaluate the resected tumour. And what we need to do is to report on all the prognostically important information that we can glean, both from the gross examination of the tumour as well as the microscopic examination. So in Singapore, we actually have formed a multidisciplinary group where we have gone through some of the important features uh, to look out for for management of well-differentiated thyroid cancer and we have put this into a document. So essentially, I've summarized it here. This is what the pathologist can actually pay attention to that is prognostically important. Size, histologic type of tumour, grade if relevant, the presence of lymphovascular invasion, uh, completeness of resection, whether there is extra thyroidal extension, and whether there is lymph node involvement. In terms of the histologic type, as I mentioned here, we have actually divided it into favorable and unfavorable types. So there are some good types and bad types of cancer, as in cancer from any organ. And here is an example of a particularly favorable type, and this is encapsulated classical PTC, where you can actually see the tumour is completely encapsulated. And here is an example on the opposite end of an unfavourable type. This is poorly differentiated thyroid carcinoma, where the architecture is actually quite insular, or quite island-like. Uh, uh, here is uh, an example of some of the risk factors which denote a higher risk of recurrence. And these factors actually combine examination by uh, the clinicians, by surgeons, radiology, as well as pathology. So uh, those that we can actually assess on the pathology report would be incomplete tumour resection, in other words, tumour margin status, then pathologic uh, lymph node status, we can examine lymph nodes microscopically for METs and also measure the size of the METs. And in follicular thyroid cancer, we can actually count the number of vessels that have been involved by vascular invasion. This is a very important prognostic factor. So when we are actually handling a case, often the pathologist will refer to this template. This is created by the College of American Pathologists and it's widely recognized and used by pathologists all over the world. So we have the AJCC staging system. And again, this goes by different size cutoffs as well as the presence of extra thyroidal extension and also the nodal status. So in the next short video clip, I'll talk to you about how we actually go through all these prognostic factors as we uh, handle an actual real-life case.